So, main point for this video, I think, because Egyptians did have a word for art, which I've repeated before, I heard some from somewhere else, and what do you really call it, like it's a, it's a visual language, it's not just art, um, hieroglyphics, let's get specific. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we're looking at the Jed Pillars now. If you go for an academic description, you're not going to get much. Uh, this is the Jed. It's like a... Kind of like... Some power source, like how we've been showing approaches to... Uh, gods in a realm of consciousness and mind. Because that's what reality is when you step into reality um, the approach to it so we're looking at power sources to the awareness um, also so I've been showing the similarities between uh, specifically Mayan or South American stuff and Egyptian and this is one of them i uh, have got the Assyrian symbolism here we've got power source so I just want to wanted to make a few more points I keep wanting to go deeper but like it seems like there's still like I consider these fundamentals and basics um, still um, to describing what they're describing um, so yeah, like, so we're not just as a power source, as a technological thing, um, which the constructions, um, lead us to, uh, those conclusions that they had that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, we're looking at, like, its relationship to consciousness and awareness um, yeah so let's go over it again um, so that was the jed pillar here's another jed pillar that appears um, more in the hieroglyphics if you're not familiar I'm pretty familiar with it and you try and go on these searches it's like what does it all mean and it's like there's no answers <laughs> It takes years to figure some things out. Um, most stuff's like that though. Yeah, so also I've been looking at the voyage. If you haven't noticed other videos, so power plants and the relationship between um, even animals and plants. Um, yeah, like the voyage has a lot of um, botanical sketches. And there seems to be a relationship there. Um, I've done a few brief videos, but I might get more into it just to show a, a different because uh, it's the same formulas that I've been working on, but it's just yeah, in a different kind of um, format or oh, alchemy. Um, so yeah, the just the significance of um, power plants and like plants has like not just a relationship you know like food or toxicants or but also because um, we're looking at visual descriptions like um, what the eye tells, because we've already been given like a lot of blueprints and there have been continuations from uh, these sort of sources, we'll get into this stuff soon. So when you're looking at like, you know, plant cloning, how we can see there, it's on the stem and you know, relative to Osiris. Like even we know that's a clone and what they're describing in the mythology is like, you know, with Horus is cloning and um, 
filling in missing pieces and using your own awareness and consciousness to probably epigenetically overcome your own dysfunction <laughs> and this is what we refer, I refer to as the arc of consciousness like the bridging of the gap because um, there are yeah go more into genetics I've done other videos but I've got to get more and more specific and simplify even more I guess so these Usually the flowers aren't that big and so we can see there's like some power in there because the yeah and shown like the crossed arms so we're looking at a crooked flail situation as well um, like as we see with Osiris Lord of the Dead the crook and the flail so also with the floral thing sorry about that with the floral thing in that hand we can see a personality there it's like a bit of a shady character a few other things hanging off there so we can see like the language transference even uh, between you know, th at 3,000 years ago, through over 3,000, and in another culture and language altogether. And then the flail, we see the flailing head of this flower. So this is what we're talking about in the transference, even from... See, this is like even a freaking, like a postmodern, but even more simplified and complex at the same time than the... Um, older designs so yeah the lampstand two witnesses also um, yeah the spaces in between is the reference okay so where else was I going with this yeah so someone mentioned the flies someone who's onto the terminology that I've been using from uh, Castaneda, Carlos Castaneda's books. Um, yeah, so see something they come to these guys control attacking a more human. But this thing is like I've shown the split on the two sides of the two faces, whereas these ones are whole in one. So, um, just just to make note that you know we see the more human in the um, in the artwork also has that division same as that one so yeah but he's still on the run which is like yeah whatever <laughs> that's cool um, Another version of the flyers, see we're talking about even power sources that um, are able to create genetic changes such as awareness or I guess plugging into some other entity as we see. Sometimes they have the pine code to represent the pineal where they're plugging into the cerebrum somehow into human awareness these are the allies as Castaner, I mean Don Juan and Castaner's books will call them basically a form of allies they're not necessarily organic or you know carbon based life forms either um, uh, you know directly through the skin it's energetic a lot of these things in nature uh, there's another one where it shows just to back that up the same creatures like directly affecting the flower of life there and it's not like these things are just like ceased to exist like this this is what they do um, like 
you know, still doing it to this day. Just uh, nice to know what they're dealing with. I mean, this is just one form of the nature of things. But it helps you understand, like, what's possible in your own awareness. See, here's the one with the pine cone. And usually the bag is with the more humanoid uh, deity or whatever. But here it's all with the uh, ally. And that's why we see a split as well. Not in this one, which is interesting. Some hair signals there. But yeah. You can see it's got the point code. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, Don Juan and the Castaneda books cause on flies because most of these things have wings and they're not exactly terrestrial, especially in current forms. And so, just to make sure, yeah, we talked about like the two arms representing the two sides of awareness and. We have an energetic thing. I think there's some jets in this too, but just to show the relationship that um, yeah, we're dealing with a realm of consciousness. So um, yeah, we're going into. We won't have to go into the other realms completely. The voyage will take us there um, into the freaking microverse and stuff. <laughs> Um, hyperspace maybe <laughs> but um so yeah just the effects uh, of awareness and energy and the effects of other of these other things on your own DNA if you're dealing with that So these ancient forms still exist to this day. But yeah, um, I want to get into, I wouldn't call it fun, maybe it's fun. But yeah, um, a bit of dreaming stuff, because that's it's included in shamanism and a lot of, uh, not necessarily occult stuff, but yeah, I want to get into some <coughs> more down-to-earth tribal forms, maybe.